Hey guys, this is Jay with PSP Shares, and today I'm going to show you how to do the remote play function with uh, your PSP and PlayStation 3. This is a function a lot of people know about, but um, actually just don't know exactly how to do it, so I'm just going to help you out real quick. So first of all, we have to have our PS3 turned on, and we have to go over to the settings. And we have to go practically all the way down to remote play settings. Click on that. And what we have to do is, with the very first option, is we have to register the device. We have to let the PS3 know what our PSP is. Um, so what we do is we come over here. Do, do, do. There's my USB cord. And we plug it into, we, we plug the other end into the PSP. And with the PSP, we go over to USB setting, or USB connection, sorry. Because we have to basically hardwire it into the PS3 for the first time so it knows what our PSP is. Um, then we, on the PS3, click on register device. Um, it's going to let us know that this is going to register the PS3 with our PSP system. You'll hit OK. It'll take a minute. It'll be like, oh, I'm going to register. Um, register complete. It might take longer because I've already done it for you, so don't worry if it took longer than mine did. Um, you know, okay. So now it's registered with our PS3. Oops. Can't leave the settings yet, though. What you want to do is you, um, you want to go to remote start, and it sets whether to turn on the PS3 system automatically when a PSP system connects to remote play. It's a good thing to set this to on. That way you can do this basically without having to turn on your PS3, meaning your PS3 um, will be off, you know, with the red light showing, and you'll be either not at your house doing this through the internet, or you'll be at your house doing this through a LAN locally, um, or a private network, and it'll automatically turn on and run without you having to come upstairs, and, or, you know, me upstairs, but you, like, wherever you're at, and turning it on by hand, so just have this set to on. Output, audio output device, I just have it on PSP, and I think that's pretty much where it's default is. Um, then what we got to do is, I'll show you how to do this while having the PS3 on. We would go to network and remote play. Boop. Um, it's going to take a second. It's going to be like, okay. There. Now it's saying, hey, dude, I'm waiting for your PSP. So now what we do is we go to our PSP. We no longer need to be in USB mode. We can unplug the USB. Uh, God, I hate PSP videos because you got to go one-handed. <laughs> um, then we go over to the network section, just like the PS3, and we go to remote play. Boom. And now, here's two options. I really hope you can see this, and I hope it's not too blurry, but I'll read it to you anyways. It's letting you know that this is the feature for remote play, and do we want to connect through internet or through private network? Since we're here at home, you know, within like however many feet it needs to be, I'm only inches away, I'll do it through private network. Um, this is letting you know how to set it up on your PS3. We're good. Let's click OK. It's going to ask for um, you to select a connection. Oops, sorry. Sorry I'm putting my hand in the way. Um, the very bottom one says PlayStation 3. Go ahead and choose that since that's where you're in the area going to be like, okay, I'm trying to connect to the access point. And there we are. Okay, so, and uh, being on the PSP but looking at the PS3 menu, um, there's a lot of things we can, but more things we can't do. Um, one thing you can't do that you probably want to try like right off the bat is you cannot play pretty much any game except like a few. Um, one I know for sure is Lair, which was a pretty popular one. If you get curious, you can press X and it'll be this content cannot be used during remote play. Oh well, uh, mostly a lot of PlayStation Network games can though, like a lot of PlayStation Network games. Um, I don't have one in here, I wish I did, just to show as an example, but um, go ahead and try it. A lot of them work, like I said. You can, uh, but you can do a lot of pretty cool things. Um, Basically, pretty much anything besides game playing and applications, some applications, like you can't do PlayStation Home, you know. Um, but I believe you can do the PlayStation Store. Um, you can look at all your friends. 
Um, I'm not too sure about start new chat. Doubt it. Let's click X. Let's see if it'll let us. Oh. I lied. You can. As long as you have a mic, I'm guessing. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like you can actually do a lot of stuff. And, you know, um, but let's do the thing I like the most. Internet browser. Um, as we, y'all, if you've had your PSP for like more than a month, you know how pretty basic the PSP's uh, internet browser is. You can uh, pretty much, it, it's the PS3's internet browser, which is just way far better. So, yes, I want to run the plug in. Uh, I'm going to switch hands because I don't want to, my hand keeps getting in my. So let's just go ahead and show you just how better. I wish this was on a flatter surface. Okay, um, let's just. I, yes, I go to South Park Zone. Awesome website. And the theme of gaming. Let's go ahead and go to this episode. As far as I can tell, the browser is like, because it's coming from the PS3, which is in your house, like, the browser doesn't slow down at all. So, it's pretty much just as fast as your internet is. Um, and, you know, this website you can watch South Park episodes, but yeah, it's basically the video player, you can watch videos, so if you're at an internet, if you're at, like, a bus stop or anywhere you got not much you don't have much to do and um, basically you're trying you know you're trying to uh, find something doing you have your PSP well if there's an internet connection you can go on the internet and do this kind of stuff watch watch videos don't have to worry about using up your uh, your memory space so let's go ahead and exit this Um, if you have custom firmware, um, make sure your custom firmware is up to date, and the remote play does work with custom firmware also. Um, one last thing before I go, is it, oh yeah, you can also watch, see, so you can watch videos, I can already click on Death Race. Um, blue disc doesn't work. I read that blue disc doesn't work, so if you have a blue disc in your PS3, it won't work. But if it's a video file on the PS3's hard drive, it'll work as you can see. Um, the last thing is if you click the home button um, you can choose to press the PS button because sometimes if you're using something you need to push the PS, bu PS button to leave it. You can quit remote play. You can go to a settings where you can assign the buttons which basically is go to type 2 so you can use L2 and R2. It has like holding select and pressing this to use buttons that aren't on the PSP. And type one is just the regular way. I, I don't know. It disables that option, I guess. Communication settings where you can adjust the response speed and image quality. I just have it up all the way and don't have a problem. Of course, I haven't used it through actual internet. So, um, connection status lets you know how good you are connected. Pretty good. 100%. <laughs> I'm like right here. And yeah. So, and that's it. Um. I, I'm not going to do it through the internet because it's the same exact thing. But, yeah, so you can just connect through the internet, too, and you'll be just fine. Um, I haven't done this from, like, a far different area. But, yeah. And let me show you, uh, let me show you something else real quick. Hold on. Okay, you see how my PS3 is off? All right, it's off. Put the... We'll do it like this. I'll put the PSP right here. We go to Remote Play connect private network you hear how my PS3 just turned on um, that's why you enabled the remote thing the in the remote play setting for it to turn on even when it's off when when something connects basically a PSP so that way it'll automatically turn on when you're not home and you're trying to connect if you don't have that setting enabled then this PS3 won't turn on and the PSP will just say, I can't find it. Alright? This is Jay with PSP Shares and 
Hopefully I helped you guys out. <laughs> Later.